Welcome to iOS Programming Lesson 4. I'm going to take a few moments to talk to you about project standards. How you lay out your project can be very important, and we're going to look at some of that. I'll start by opening up Xcode, and I will create a new Xcode project. Now the first thing I want to talk about is a naming standard. I've basically used the same type of naming conventions as were outlined in your course assignment. I used an organization name of RSC, company identifier of EDU self, and class prefix of RSC. So now this will look really similar to what you've been doing, except you'll have your initials as the class prefix. The next thing I'm going to do is give it the name Show Standards. I'll hit the Next button and move on. To keep things organized, I have a specific folder where I place all of my projects and then I organize each project within folders. This is a basic layout of just an empty application. I'm going to add a new file and I'll go to the file menu on the left that says user interface. Pick out storyboard and then I'll add a storyboard. Now notice how I name the storyboard. I'm going to say main because this is the main storyboard for this app. And then I'm also going to put the name of the app. I like this naming convention because down the road there may be quite a few storyboards and this helps me to keep this one identified. Now you may have noticed that the storyboard is added at the top of your groups. What I like to do is move it down below, usually right above the supporting files so that I can locate it easily on that window on the left. This is just a, a nice convention to help keep track of everything. Now I'm going to add a view controller to our storyboard. And I'm going to add a class for that view controller. This is something you did in your Lesson 3 projects. Always keep in mind when you add files to a project to choose the correct type. In this case it needs to be a view controller and it's going to give it a name appending the prefix with the word view controller. Just be sure that you type in something that makes it unique so you know which view this view controller relates to. So I typed in my test view controller, made sure it picked a UI view controller type, and then went ahead and created it. As you can see it shows up right under the storyboard. I like to take both of these click the shift key and drag them up along with the other classes. And I like to keep them in a nice alphabetic order. This makes it easy to find them as I go through and make modifications to the classes later on. So those are some of the ideas about ways to organize your code. And they are what I would consider a maybe not best practice, but a good practice. Thanks for your attention and enjoy your next project.